Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me again, it is lovely to finally be here. So um, yeah, I was missing again yesterday, just not enough hours in the day going through. <laughs> but um, I'm back now and I'm going to, Neil's gone to work this morning, so I'm going to sit and do at least three videos today. So yay, fingers crossed, you'll have a video every day now those of you that want one um so i'm working on the well the so-called country mouse journal <laughs> which is what um i'm going to call it however i have um misnamed tanya's kit because i've been saying it's country mouse and she's she has laughed at me bless her she hasn't got mad thank goodness <laughs> it's not called country mouse at all it's called meadow mouse <laughs> so meadow mouse is the kit country mouse is um my journal <laughs> I will I will change it in the title to Meadow Mouse though. Okay, so what have I done since I was last on? I just did a quick video last time, didn't I? I've actually glued this down. I have um, attached the the brooch, uh, and I've just put a bit. A, you probably can't see the colour of it, but it's sort of a, a light green uh, piece of. I wanted to say twill. That's a biscuit, isn't it? <laughs> tool, tool. Yes. Um, I think that's all I've done. Oh no, I might have done something on the pages. Um, it's my intention to sew the signature in with you today. So I have got a um, template ready, as soon as it's two signatures. And um, I have had a little play with some bits, so I'll show you what bits I've been playing with and then we will you know, maybe put something in it, we'll see. So, um, I'll show you I'll show you what I've done in the signatures I think once I've stitched it in because it it'll be much easier nicer won't it I've just I've added I don't know what I've done I've added another page at least anyway don't know um if I've done anything else other than that right what am I going to do um yeah it'll be easier to just turn the pages and show you so I've made a template which fits just inside the spine and I've got two signatures so I've um ish done equal amounts uh, space between those but regardless of whether they're equal or not um they'll be in the same place <laughs> on this center one will be on the same place and then the distance here and here on the signatures as it is on this um cover <laughs> i'm in trouble with words already so i've got a tea there for top and i want a couple of um yes. these clips paper clips that's it because um, I'm going to hold it in place while I so rather than finding a piece that was exactly the length I've done it just inside or not quite inside that's good Denise that's why you want to put your holes through the stitching the thing is once I get the it's getting the center if I get the center here and the center on the um, signature page is identical then they'll sit in the same space in here Okay, so I'll use I'll use that to pop these two holes through. Um, and then I'll have to move them to to put the other holes. And maybe if I just move it sideways, oh I can get that one. So it's own it is only a, um, an envelope and a piece of card and a piece of material fabric. Um, so you know it's not a lot it's not a lot to go through it's enough it'll be strong enough for those signatures but oh. move you over yeah so the theory is they should now all be in a straight line ish <laughs> who knows um yeah i can then take that off there I've definitely have put top at the top, haven't I? Yeah. And I think what I'll do is put a little T inside because you know how I love to sew a signature in upside down. Is it pencil? I'll put a little T there to remind me. <laughs> I'll be all right with the first one, probably. It's when you put the next one in. I tend to turn things around when I'm trying to get a, you know, get a handle on them. I think everything's stitched in that I wanted to stitch in. As I hope to get everything in the place I want it. So yeah, I added that, which is a, a page of ledger. I just wanted some more writing um, space in it. I felt um, the cover was big enough to take one more, so I added it. Curled 
the edge up there for some reason in the middle so yeah they're all different as you can see they're all different size or slightly different size papers so I just want them roughly um, where they should be as opposed to is that what I'm doing am I clipping that together yes because you're putting a mark for your holes um, the whistling you can hear is the wind. We're in the middle of a... Mm, I've forgotten what it's called now. I think it began with a P. Um, so yeah, we, we've got a wind that's hit, to, hit us here in the UK. Um, a storm, I should say. We're in the middle of a storm. It's a wind storm more than anything. We're not... Oh dear, I needed that. We haven't got lots of rain or hail or snow or... Oh, freaky. Anything like that. Um, we've got pencil. We've got. Um, oh, shall I just do it straight through? No. Yes, do it straight through. Me centre. So I want the exact centre. So if I centre twenty one, that will be ten and a half, won't it? Ten and a half there. Oh, moved. Yeah, so that whistling, it's really loud downstairs around the front door, so don't know, don't know what it is. A rain pipe or something like that, but. Okay. Now I can use this. So I'll put the centre, make sure I've got the top at the top, put the centre against the centre there, so that... You know, this, the hole that I've put in the centre of the spine of the cover will line up with the centre of this signature. And then I want the distance between them the same. So I just want a mark there. So I'm going to dig a hole. Dig a hole. <laughs> suppose I'm digging it. And one there. Oops, wobbled a bit. Let's do this one first because I've got, got it nearer to me. Yeah, oh. turn this round. This is what I mean about turning it round and then and I put it in upside down. That's what I do. Okay, so before I mark the other one up, I'm going to put this one in. This is the front one. So I want little Miss Mouse at the front. Right, try not to move yourself, please. And I've got some blue, light blue. It is vintage, but I've checked it. It's very strong. It's cotton embroidery, so... Um, not embroidery, crochet, I think. I think it is anyway. Right, you didn't even measure what that said. Oh, I've just remembered I was going to put, yeah, I've got miles too much there. I was going to put um, maybe some beads on the spine. Right, I won't. Um, the other thing I'm, I was thinking of doing was, if I didn't do that, was putting um, some, yeah snip it lace snip it on the spine or just lace so seeing as i haven't got the beads out ready i forgot about it come through no it won't <laughs> it's not a tiny hole i suppose it's quite slim but the cotton's not very thick come on it's just soft i think oh. Don't be splitting. Sounds like someone out there with a whistle, doesn't it? There isn't. I promise you there isn't. Cut that split bit off. That's it. Okay, I suppose I should have clipped that a bit more securely. And uh, yeah, make sure I'm actually sewing it to the cover and not just to itself, which is another one of my... Now you see the T is here so that would have gone in upside down so i'm pleased i did that i maybe should have put those things on last but never mind oh dear <laughs> that's it so pull it through so my strings will be on the inside and then straight up into that one there Oops, come along. It says no. Where are you? 
Is that not it? Yes, it is. Obviously, didn't go through very deep. Oh, don't do that. Don't come right through. I don't want to do you twice. Okay, and then through the top hole here. Ow, it's a blunt needle, I'm pleased to tell you. So there's no blood. It didn't go in me. Just made me jump. There we go. Right, have you moved? No, I think we're all right. No, we're okay. Back down the bottom one. Pull my string through. Out that one. Yeah, it's the fabric that's closing up again. Okay, we're nearly there with the first one. Just the tricky bit left. Getting this through here without going back through that string. Oh, and through the fabric that closes up. Come on. Can't tell if that's through itself or not. I'll, I'll be able to tell when I've finished the whole thing. Have you moved on me? I feel like you might have done. How far through am I yet? Through that, through that. Oh, it's just that one that's moved, I think. That's it. Oh, it's come out. It's a good job I'm through. Okay, let's see if... These are attached together. No, they're not. That was good. So, this one through, we'll have it level. As level as we can, that's pretty good. All right, not too tight because that cotton will cut through the paper. Um, I'll pull it too tight. Make sure we through everything and I didn't miss one. Seems good. And are we nice and nearly disappeared in in there? Well, I haven't gone across, have I? No, I'm in the right hole. Um, it's not followed the line of the fabric, but that the, the fabric may not be on straight. <laughs> that could be the issue there. So, yeah, I'm not pulling this one too tight. So um, I can always go back in and tighten it up again if I need to, if they're not strong enough. Before I actually knot it tight, tightly. Okay, so that's that one in. Just wondered if it mo it's moved up a bit, but it's not. It's not. I've got some lower at the bottom and some lower at the top, so that's fine. And I think as long as the middle... Yeah, as long as the middle bits are the, the same, we'll be okay. So, a clip there. So the last couple I've sewn in without you, so I just thought I'd, I'd do this one and show you. I know you, if you're with me a lot, you'll, you'll see me do this quite a lot. So I tend to try and do some. No, that's not what you're doing, Denise. That's what you're doing. I try and do some on camera, but not all. Just for those of you that haven't seen it loads. Yep, so that is exactly 21. So we're definitely 10 and a half. Don't know why we're doing it. Do it with that. So that one counter straight in. So we've got the middle exactly. Oh, gosh, I went a long way with that. I won't have trouble getting me. <laughs> I didn't mean to go quite that far. I won't have trouble getting my um, needle eye of my needle through there. Right, I've got the top at the top. I've lined up the centres. Now I can draw my dots for the top and the bottom. And push them through. Oops, don't go sideways on me. Some 
preferred measuring it this time instead of just going crazy. So Neil's at work, did I tell you that? So I am, um, and I've got a bit of housework to do, but I'm not going crazy. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit each day over the next three days and then Christmas guests will be here. So a little bit of housework each day, Neil's at work for three days and um, yeah, a couple, a couple of videos each day, hopefully, is my plan. Everything else is done. A bit of food prep to do, but not, not too much now. All the shopping is done. No, Denise, let's, let's do it through there, shall we? Mind it needed to go through there, I suppose, didn't it? So you're the top, yes. And you're the top. And through we go. Always feels nice when you get your second signature in. Pull that out a bit. Okay, so I'm going through the hole in the top of the cover. Whoops. Oh dear. Try again. I went through that one a lot easier. To my signature. Oh, come out come through I should say I don't want you to come out bottom of that I haven't got much string where are you all hmm. did I, I hope I measured it properly okay back through there my one last one which as I always say is a tricky one back through that let me hold that oh don't come undone <laughs> everything's in my way and I'm pretty sure you're not getting a very good view but I apologize yeah that went through reasonably easily through here and that's I made a big hole so yeah it went through went through easily okay and, uh, pull them and make sure I haven't you know gone through the thread itself if you have when you pull one the other one will move as well the other one of those and it isn't and uh, we're fairly level so I'll just pop it through here tighten it again it's tight ish on there it is i definitely went through everything because it went through like a, a charm didn't it so again two not overly tight knots just to hold it for now that's it and that's that <laughs> um like i say if you've seen that loads of times you would just have fast forward it through it unless you love watching it loads of times okay so let's have a look then um see if you spot anything that we didn't see last time it is nice seeing it actually bound you get much more of an idea i think that did migrate up there a little bit but it's it's not an issue when, when i've got page edge and things and tabs and bits of lace on here and there you probably won't even notice Yeah, so this is what I added, the, le the uh, ledger page. I wanted something in between that and, and that as well. I couldn't couldn't decide what I wanted, in, you know, next to this. And I think that ledger page is working well. The wind's trying to drown me out, isn't it? <laughs> Unless you can't hear it, it might be that the... I never thought about that. The microphone might not be picking it up. But... Oh, I did do something. I did this look. Have I got me a little... So these were the three tags, if you remember, that were attached to each other. And I just I just thought it would be easier to do before I stitched it in. Um, I just folded one over and stuck two down as a pocket there. And the one that I folded over, I attached a piece of scrap bin paper to. Now I might put some um, mica pour or something up there just to strengthen that. So it's got another flip out there. I wanted some extra flip outs for interest. 
and um, yeah, I, I fastened that top and bottom so it's got a side tuck in it. So I did that with that one and then I used the other three that were together for the back. I had a feeling I'd done something, I just couldn't think what without you. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the way the colours have come together. Okay, and I've got quite a, oh, even my tea's showing, look. Quite a gap there. Um, now I could tuck something in it. I have I have got something made for the back, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, I could do something similar and tuck it in the middle there. But obviously, as, as this fills out, it will come together there as well. I can get me uh, rub it in there and rub that out. I just thought with having the, I think I'm up to I'm up to eleven pages or twelve pages now in each signature, you know, times four. I thought it would fill in, so I thought better not do it too close. So that that's the same as in the front signature, an extra piece of ledger paper in. Oh, there's the three that I did. So again, I made this one into a pocket here, a, a double pocket, glued it down. Um, I didn't want another flip out on that one, so I will either stencil that or put some fabric or something. I didn't want to make a rush decision. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on it yet. Something though. I'm not going to stick it down. It is going to be a flip out, but with what? I don't know. I just thought those pretty blues went with the, this page really well as well. Yeah, so a couple of extra things in since you last saw it. Oh, that avocado paper in there, it goes really well. Super, and we're finished with her. So we started with her. Now this is what I was ta talking about when I said I'd made something. So this is from, well, I haven't made finished it yet. Um, if you remember, I had extra ephemera that I hadn't, um, didn't have originally um, and this was one of them this great big trifold now it it is inked there and there which is I think is where the trifold you know should be so it's three individuals but I wanted it bigger and I wanted both mice <laughs> I wanted them both showing so I folded it somewhere different on you know on the page and I think it works fine I also backed it with some of this lovely uh, graphics 45 paper and I put a bit of a um a bit of a spine in it as well but it does it, it does close over just I, to start with i thought oh that it may, looks like a nice envelope it'll make a nice envelope which it will and it will look like that when i put it in um but i've decided what i'm going to do is put this in here so um obviously they'll be spread out a bit more there might be another page in it yet i don't know so some lovely embroidery um well it's linen isn't it it's like silk linen um paper some vellum that's a that's a piece of vintage book cover and you know book page maybe i want that in the middle with those lovely leaves in it and i thought it, i would sew it down there and then put it in and it'll look like an envelope but not fasten it up so it will open up like this yeah <laughs> does that make sense to you and i thought um she'd be lovely they're all going to be she's well, she's and he's, aren't they? Because of um, the, the mouse in the cup is a is a male, I think. Yeah, and I thought that was that would fit in there, lovely. Um, but like I say, it could could go in there, or we could make something similar to this. Um, quite fancy making a waterfall pad, actually. So, yeah, something else can be tucked in the middle there as well. It'll end up a, a very fat <laughs> um, journal. I haven't done a really fat one for a long time, have I? So yeah, I thought she went nice in there. I haven't decided exactly what's going in the front yet, um, but I still, um, what else have I done? I've done a couple of, oh, oh I've made this. So I found some beads um, that were on the, a necklace clasp, a broken necklace clasp. They're those, um, like those crystally ones, they're vintage. So I just put it on a piece of that. And I don't know if I'm gonna have it on here. I still haven't got my butterfly on yet. But yeah, that will probably end up on there somewhere. Um, so there's a butterfly, don't lose it. What else have I got? I started to make a snippet roll. It's not stitched or anything. It's only glued down. It's got an odd hand stitch here and there. Um, that's 
that's one of my other things I just cut up one of the tags <laughs> that's all I've done so far um, again from the ephemera that I didn't see and I've just stuck it on one of these no nope. one of these parcel cardboard um cardboard craft card parcel tags I took the string out and put some vintage lace in um I just actually stuck it on the front and did, didn't do anything else with it a lovely eyelet through it and then just a piece of paper out of my scrap box and a piece of that washi on the back of it I just thought that was nice I don't know where it's going <laughs> it'll go in here somewhere and then this is what I was telling you about um I had a mind to make so it's just a piece of scrap book paper card so this is a piece of 12 by 12 it's what I backed the um that pink envelope in the back is what I backed that with and this is the strip that was left so um yeah I just folded it up didn't and no particular measurements but I'll tell you what I did so I folded it up uh, four and three quarter inches and the back piece is five inches and then the piece I folded over is two inches um and what I was going to do was put a a brad and a attorney piece to keep it closed and then some pockets inside but I've decided I'm going to use one of well, I'll use this one here but this isn't the one one of these with a button on on there which will hold it down which will be nice in there but it needs the pockets doing inside it maybe stitching as well but um yeah the, the other alternative was that I couldn't decide about that or maybe both I don't know uh, that's that's what I was thinking and this <laughs> So this is, well, I, I was going to do this with a postcard, but I found these um, couple that, there were postcards that I didn't like the front of, you probably remember, and I used book page to cover the front of them and kind of making my own postcards. And then, um, yeah, I put I put the bits and pieces on. Dearest D, thank you, your own. Well, I'm D, but it wasn't written to me. <laughs> so all I did was punch two holes in the corner and put a, some sari silk through it which I loved and then I made it into a paper clip um, let me get a page because I don't want to do it on the journal so like a hidden paper clip kind of thing but huge um, you know so it can go it can go on a page like that and just hold there or you can actually use it as I don't know what I've done with that tag now you know use it to hold something on onto your page so I'm going to make another one so I'm going to do that with you now. Um, I nearly made them both and I thought, oh, I really ought to do that on camera. Oh, that's that envelope. Um, and I used one of my my snippets. Where are they? Here, Here they are. Fabric, fabric snippets. Um, let's move those over. So I believe I did. I used the Tim Holtz trimmer. And went right round the postcard. I have got some old vintage postcards that I've got this crinkly cut round them and I quite like them. So I thought I would do that before I did anything else. Ooh. Let's do two sides first. You have to be, it, it, it goes better if you're quick with it, but it's even noisier if you're quick, you know, because it's quite tough stuff that I'm cutting through. <laughs> So hold your ears, this will be the last one. <laughs> Gosh, good job there's nobody else in. Simba will be wondering what's going off, but he's in bad books anyway. So <laughs> uh, just because, well, for two reasons, actually. We uh, Yesterday he didn't want to come in when we went out. So fair enough, if you don't want to come in, that's fine. We left him out. Con um, conservatory, not the conservatory, the... Um, Nice me hole punches. The greenhouse was open, so if it rained or you know he wasn't happy being out, he could he could get in under cover into his bed, which is still there. Right, which way up do I want this? No, that way I think. So I'm going to put do the same. Do I want the same, or shall I do it the other way? No, I want the same. I think. I'm going to put two holes here just to thread some of that silk through. Um. Yeah, and we were out getting uh, the last of the Christmas food. We went out for a Christmas coffee. What else did we do? Oh, we took um, 
a wreath to the grave, all sorts of li little jobs. Um, I went round the charity shop. <laughs> yes, my toe is not better. It still hurts, but um, yeah, it's, it's definitely manageable now. So um, I don't have to seize up by not not walking around at all. And actually, once I've got my my sock on it and um, my soft trainer shoe on it, use all that. Yeah, it's quite well supported. So um, yeah, I'm all right. It aches at the end of the night, but I'm not in the agony I was. Anyway, <laughs> I digress yet again. So we were gone a little while, I guess. And when we came back, um, Neil said, oh, I better go let the cat in because he'll be hungry. And he went, oh, you haven't. <laughs> and I knew what he'd done. He was on Mr Next Door's conservatory roof, stuck again. Um, and he'd obviously been there a while because he was, like, really shouting at us. <laughs> um, and he wanted down desperately. So Neil went and got the ladders and his basket and got him down. So he wasn't in in best books for that because, I don't know, silly, silly thing to do. <laughs> and then last night he decided he wanted me to get up. Um, and I thought, oh, maybe he wants to go out, so I'll get up. Is that a bit too long? Can it be too long? I suppose it can. <laughs> um you know, after him nagging me for about, I mean, when I say last night, I'm talking about half, two, three o'clock this morning, nagging me for about an hour. And, um, yeah, he didn't want anything to eat. He didn't want to go out. He just wanted to sit on the settee with me. He, didn't, he wanted to be up, basically. No, nothing else. So I was not impressed. So I had a quick cup of tea, seeing as I was up. And, um, yeah, shut him, shut him down there. So, yeah, maybe I did frighten him with that big bang, but, <laughs> he's he's treading carefully around me this morning because obviously I'm tired now. So I'm I'm chosen chosen I've chosen to use these plasticky um they're all a bit sideways on aren't they? That one's better I think. Plastic covered um paper clips just because I think the glue the grab the glue better. And the nice big ones as well, which this can take. So let's just grab one of these to put on. I want something with a bit of lace on, I think. Or a bit of light. Oh. Obviously it's got to be big enough to to cover that paper clip. Um, I just want a bit of that off. I don't want a bit too much of it. Yeah, I like that. I'm going with that one. I'm, I'm covered in threads from that blue, that blue ribbon. So I don't know that both of these will go in this. I'll choose one to go in. I think it'll be too bulky having two. I know there's two signatures, but... Where are we going? We're going that way. Can you keep your ribbon out of that glue? We don't want any of those mishaps going on. So I'm just using my fabric tack. Lovely. So I've just put a piece of. Oh, I've gone through there. That's quite. <laughs> Never noticed until now. So that bit of paper I've stuck on, I've got a piece of me embossed paper on there as well. Yeah, I like those, so we'll definitely have one of those in there. Right, let's have a look um, in the book, because I do want to get these in, um, and I'm not 100% sure where yet. Let's see. Oh, I can say I want the four. There is four. So... Let's just move you out the way. <laughs> I need to clear my desk before I do anything. It's uh, it's one well truly messy. I've been off camera. Goodness me. Um, so I haven't decided what's going in the front yet. Um, like I say, I've got the front and maybe something in the middle now. So we'll make something together for there. 
won't be too difficult there's plenty to choose from um so i was i was I were i were going to use these as side tucks um on the pages i was going to stitch them in but i've done some did i not look camera then <laughs> I've done some uh, lace ones, haven't I, like here. So maybe I don't want... And I've put these on the envelopes as well, although that does look nice in there, doesn't it? I'm just going to look at them in a few a few places then and see i mean they're nice on all the page edge edges aren't they i love that paper i want to leave that one as clear as possible for right now what about these yeah they're nice on those but then i've got them very close by on there haven't i Which two did I use? I could use the other two, didn't I? Right, so I've used that one. And in the back I used... Where are you? Oh, there. <laughs> right in front of you, Denise. Used that one. So this one and this one. The mices. The mices I haven't used. So I'm wondering about this one here. Right. You've got the fancy one, so if we put the plane as a talk. Yeah, in a bit. Yeah, as a talk. Um, it might be embellished more when I embellish. Does it need inking? No. Oh. So I've got laundry to do, actually. I didn't put that on my list, did I? But um, I definitely won't be taking anything out on the line, so it's going to be a, a drier day. Don't want laundry sitting around over Christmas, do we? I think we've just about finalised our Christmas plans with everybody. We are, we are having Hayley and the grandchildren on Boxing Day. And uh, mum's coming to stop Christmas Eve. And I think she's going home Christmas Day. Well, we said we'd leave it open. She can do whatever, but she likes to come out, but she likes to go home again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my sister and brother-in-law. And then the day after Boxing Day, shall I put Paige in there? We're going to Bridlington to see Neil's mum. I think we're going out for a meal. So that's uh, Christmas Eve, we'll be spent with friends, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, day after, that's four days. So the day after that we will be resting, <laughs> we'll be shattered. We'll probably be clearing up a bit. Oh, things are falling at me. So oh, yeah, nothing else happening now, apart from the Christmas festivities, everything else is done. <laughs> so I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to do a few films and I'm hoping as well, I've got a lot planned when I've got my housework, bit of housework done, to sit and do some fussy cutting, so we'll see, it might be that I have a cup of tea put the TV on and promptly fall asleep, having had a disturbed night. Yeah, they are quite heavy on that um, straw paper, but it, it's strong enough to take it. It actually strengthens the edge a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, straw paper's nice for writing on as well, so I might just put some decoration around there and leave that. Right, let's get the lid on this. And move that out of the way because I think oh no maybe we'll put it maybe we'll put it in there 
Okay, right, I need to um, have a look at the, tr the trims now, I think. So um, I'll clear my desk. I'll clear my desk first. Right, I didn't realise how long I'd been filming, actually. So, um, yeah, I, I brought the trims along, but I think I'll just do the... Um, the envelopes, the uh, craft card envelopes, and then we'll do whatever trimming needs needs doing another video. So I just wanted some of this this lovely. I mean, I've got lots of trims here. But I just wanted some of this lovely. Um, I believe it's upholstery trimming um, on my my craft card envelopes, just to give them a little bit of a fancy. So uh, do I want them on the blue? They are quite nice on there, aren't they? I don't want them on the middle. Oh, and that's got that on. So, yeah, the blue it is. I'm literally just going to, you know, glue it on with. So maybe I should only do one because I need to leave it open, don't I? So I'll glue one on. You don't need to see me do it twice, do you? I'll glue one on and leave it open and we'll we'll call it a video there. Where's the fabric tack? Um, for now, right, what day is it today? So, yeah, I won't be working on this one tomorrow. I will be working on this one the day after. So tomorrow is... No, I won't because that's Saturday. So Christmas Eve, you will see this one again. Well, that's when I will be putting the next video up. I don't know when you'll see it. <laughs> um, just get that on straight-ish. Maybe shouldn't have gone so far in there. Flip that way a bit because it might hinder the closure, might it? Yeah, because that's Sunday, Christmas Eve is Sunday, that's when you'll see this again. Saturday will be um, more book page because you're still loving the book page makes, and I've still got lots of them to. It's cute, isn't it? So I'll do the same on the other one. Um, yeah, and I'm finishing a journal off tomorrow, so one that's been sitting on my desk for ages. So, um, yeah, and then Christmas Day and I think Boxing Day will be the journal that I make an entire journal, decorate it a little bit and do it as a giveaway. So that's that. And then, um, yeah, I don't know when I'll be on again after Boxing Day. It might be the day after or it might be that I skip a day. So I'll see you tomorrow with the um, journal that needs finishing and then Saturday with book page makes and then Sunday back with this beauty. Don't close it, Denise. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining me. It's been lovely to have you here and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.